Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Today, we're going to be talking about how to break into the IT world with zero experience. When I get text message or message from my friends about, hey, we wanted to come into the IT, but we aren't sure about what we need to do, please kindly uh, give us some guidelines most of my answer remain the same the first thing that we need to do is to research the different it career and identify what actually suits our needs for example maybe i like something like in networking maybe my other friend like computer administrator maybe the other one like programming so our thoughts and our likes are different right here so take a time or take more time to research put in like it career 2023 in google or bing and get the answer you know try to read a little bit about it see what is actually aligned with your value what you would like so let me give you an example let's say you're an accountant and you're actually checking out the it career maybe you want to have database or maybe you want to add artificial intelligence so read about it and see how that actually help you with your career and with this you'll be able to decide which one to go for so i have something that i've actually researched like computer support maybe that one actually interests you you can go for it maybe cyber security you never know network and systems some people like to <laughs> to actually network and get some system information see how information and data pass through the wire maybe that actually interests you we never know go for it uh some people like software development maybe you are the kind of person that actually curious about how does the application that i'm watching this video get on my phone maybe the software that we're actually using to record this video maybe that is what interests you so i want to do some little bit of research on that web development maybe the google.com bing.com microsoft.com or your favorite tv show website.com maybe actually you wanted to want i mean you're wondering like how did they get here so you might want to do a little bit of research about web development to see if that is actually what works for you now once you finish doing that the second thing is to build up your skills and expertise now let's say after all weeks or sometimes it takes months for you to decide which of the career you really wanted to pursue now it's time to start putting the effort the work the reading the certification into it so you want to develop your skills like you can go to youtube and type web development for beginner you will see a lot of video resources right there to be honest most of the things that i know today is actually from the free resources i research online books free ebook or blogs or YouTube video actually helped me a lot to see how all this thing works. So once you finish doing that, then you want to have a beautiful resume. Believe me, I've not seen any HR team that really want to read like five to six pages of resume. So if you apply, if you're going to craft your resume, make sure that it's aligned to the career path you're actually applying applying for you don't want to spend all those time to select your career path all those time to get yourself to read the books and do some certification and at the end of the day you want to have a poor resume if you actually need and help on that please put a com comment in the comment section below and i can actually take a look into your resume maybe help you a little bit or maybe give you some advice so make sure that your resume stand out out of the that is the idea make it stand out so number four you want to network and hunt for job opportunity online or offline the actually i'm going to say online is very good but if i kind of person that you really want to meet people at the event and showcase your skill for them it's fine also you can actually do both you know Places like LinkedIn is, a, is one of my favorite that I actually see what people are doing in my own technology path or career path. And I follow them, you know, I tell them uh, 
what I have. Also, I do this job search to see I reach out to the recruiter. I send them my my resume and that is how you can get started from that. You know, just network, you know, see people, talk to people, not only physically, now online. You know, you can reach a lot of people online more than actually you can reach them uh, in the physical world. Now, number five, demonstrate your skills and passion for IT. You can actually do this through your personal project or a community workshop. You can go online and type uh, community watch or workshop at your location and you will see a lot of them so that you can join, you know, write a personal blog, meet out with people, you know, network yourself together, showcase your work with them, you know. This is actually maybe giving back to the community or if you're already working or you don't have a job yet, you can actually write a personal blog about a book, about, about, okay, about a book that you actually find in a software. Depends if you're in programming or web development, you know, do the same thing like I'm doing right now. Reach out to people, teach your skill to colleges, people that is actually in your environment. You know, invite them to actually come to learn about technology that you have been spending maybe one or two years in researching. And with that being said, that is everything that you have to do. You might want, you might be wondering like, hey, Peter, is it that easy? No, it's not easy. But I can guarantee you that if I can do it, you can also do it. And this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for your time, for listening. I really, really appreciate you. Please, if this is actually informative for you, you can actually like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until the next time, peace out.